hello, hello there, and welcome to a Math Thinking Thursday. We're going to use a hundreds chart to help us solve 82 minus 19. And then down here at the bottom, we are going to work with Aisha to solve a one-step word problem. So, up here at the top, we have 82 minus 19. Look at the process that we're going to take here. 10 from 82 is going to give me a number. I'm going to put that number here and then subtract 9. So here's, because I know 19 is broken into 10 and 9, that's the process I'm going to use to help me solve. So here, I'm going to grab a highlighter. If I start with 82 right here, right, and I'm going to subtract 10, what direction would I go in to subtract 10? Well, we know from our compass, we would go So 10 minus, I mean, 82 minus 10 is 72. Now I want to do 72 minus 9. See how I'm breaking this into parts? So to subtract, I want to go backwards. Now here I'm going to go across 10 because here, if I go backwards 1, I would be at 71 but then I'm going to have to go up to 70. So I would go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. And this is where I would stop, right here at 63. So now I know that 82 minus 19 would give me 63. Now, for those of us who like the standard algorithm, you can work it out right here on the side, 82 minus 19, right? So if I have two cookies, can I eat nine? I cannot. So that means I have to move a 10 here. This would become 12 because I have 10 and two ones, and this would become 70. So remember how I had the number 82? I regrouped it so it's 70 plus 12, which still equals 82. 70 plus 12. So now if I do 12 minus 9, I would end up with 3. And if I did 70 minus 10, I would have 60. So did we get the same answer either way? We definitely did. Now we are going to do some solving with Aisha here. Aisha has $754. Wow. She spent $235 at the mall. How much money does she have left? So this word spent is very important because it's going to tell me what I need to do, what equation I will have. So if I have some money and I spend some of that, am I multiplying the money? Like, am I doubling it or tripling it? Am I dividing the money up into groups if I spent it? Am I subtracting the money from my own wallet if, I'm, if, if I spent it? Or am I adding money if I spent it? If you said subtract, you are absolutely correct. When you spend money, you are subtracting that money from the money you have. You're giving it to someone else for an item. So, seven, the equation would be 754 minus 235 equals something. That's my equation. 
So now I'm going to work it out. Now all week we have seen different ways to work this out. We can use standard algorithm. We can use expanded form. We can use base pen block. There are all sorts of ways I can figure out how to do this. I am going to choose to use expanded form. So I'm going to do 754 and I'm going to subtract 235. Remember, we always start in the ones place. Think about yourself growing up. You didn't start with your 100th birthday. Oh, happy birthday, you're 100. It's your first birthday. No, you started at your first birthday. So start in your ones place. So you ones and then tens, you can make it up to your 10th birthday, and then hundreds. God willing, you make it to your hundreds, your hundred birthday. So we start in our ones here. So four minus five. If I have four cookies, can I eat five of them? I cannot. So I have to regroup this number. So I moved a 10 here from the tens place, and now I have 40. The reason why is because this was 54. So I can regroup it and do 40 plus 14, and that still equals 54. So 14 minus five, let's see. Five plus five is 10, okay? And then I need four more. So all together, that would be nine. So you should notice nine plus five equals 14. Would you like to do 40 minus 30? Can I do 40 minus 30? If I have 40 pieces of cake and 30 guests, can I give everyone a piece? I can. If I have 40 pieces of cake and 30 guests, everybody can get a piece. But I'll have some pieces left over, and that would be 10. 700 minus 200. So it's that 7 minus 2, and these are just my zeros, so I could put those in, would be 500. So now I know that my question mark equals 500s, 1, 10, and 9 ones, 519. So now I'm going to answer the word problem because we talk, well, over here we're talking about cookies, we're talking about cake to just kind of help us remember how to subtract. But now I have to actually answer this problem. How much money does Aisha have left? Aisha... has $519 left after she spends $235 at the mall. Very good work. We thought that through. Notice here how we answered the word problem. Make sure you do that at school. Do that in class. Don't just put that the answer is 519. Don't just put that as your final answer. Make sure you answer the question. It's so important. Well, I can tell we had a Math Thinking Thursday and I will see you soon. Hi, my budding geniuses. I hope you enjoyed today's lesson. Make sure you have your book so you can follow along. Practice on your own for 15 minutes and then log in to review the lesson. Remember, there's a purpose for your life. If you stay focused, you can say, oh, yay me, I understand. See you tomorrow. Bye now.